Can your thoughts truly shape your reality? This is the question that the Law of Attraction seeks to answer. This intriguing concept known as the Law of Attraction suggests that like a magnet, our minds have the ability to attract the things we deeply desire into our lives. It posits that the thoughts we entertain, whether positive or negative, have a defining effect on our experiences. The idea is simple yet profound. Think positively and positive things will come your way. Harbor negative thoughts and you'll attract negative outcomes. But this isn't some arcane magic or wishful thinking. Advocates of the Law of Attraction argue that it's deeply rooted in the workings of the universe, the energy that permeates all things and the fundamental laws that govern our existence. Yet, for every individual who swears by the Law of Attraction, there's another who dismisses it as pseudoscience or mere coincidence. Critics argue that it oversimplifies the complexities of life and neglects the influence of external factors beyond our control. Some even say that it promotes a harmful narrative, suggesting that those who suffer misfortune have somehow attracted it upon themselves. This dichotomy of opinion raises a fascinating question. Is the law of attraction real or is it just a comforting illusion we create to feel in control in an unpredictable world? This polarizing debate has pulled in experts from various fields. Psychologists, physicists and philosophers, each with their unique perspectives, have joined the discussion, contributing a wealth of insights and sparking further questions. It's a journey through the realms of science and the human mind, a quest to understand the complex interplay between our thoughts and the universe around us. It's an exploration that challenges us to question our preconceived notions and to remain open to new possibilities. This is a contentious topic with opinions as varied as the individuals who hold them. So is there any scientific basis for the law of attraction? Let's delve into it. Proponents of the Law of Attraction often argue that it's grounded in science. And indeed, it's true that the Law of Attraction finds its roots intertwined with some of the most intriguing scientific theories known to man. Let's start with quantum physics. This field of study delves into the universe's smallest particles where the rules of classical physics no longer apply. At this level we find the phenomenon of entanglement, where particles once connected remain so regardless of distance. Change the state of one and the other reacts instantaneously. Some argue that this interconnectedness is a cornerstone of the law of attraction, suggesting that our thoughts and feelings can influence our realities in a similar interconnected way. Next, we wade into the realm of energy frequencies. It's well established that everything in the universe, from the stars in the sky to the thoughts in our minds, is energy. This energy vibrates at different frequencies, a concept that becomes particularly interesting when we consider the law of attraction. Proponents posit that like attracts like, meaning that positive thoughts vibrating at a high frequency will attract positive experiences, and negative thoughts at a lower frequency will attract negative ones. Now let's hear from our experts. Dr. Jane Edmonds, a physicist specializing in quantum mechanics, expresses caution. While acknowledging the compelling nature of entanglement and energy frequencies, she emphasizes that these principles operate at a microscopic level. Applying them to macroscopic experiences, such as human thoughts and feelings, is a considerable leap that requires more research to substantiate. Conversely, Dr. Paul Richards, a philosopher with a keen interest in the metaphysical, views the link more favorably. He argues that science and consciousness share a complex relationship, one that we may only be beginning to understand. To him, the law of attraction could be a manifestation of this relationship, an intriguing blend of science and spirituality. In the middle ground, we find Dr. Alice Bennett, a psychologist. She acknowledges the power of positive thinking, but cautions against attributing all life's outcomes to the law of attraction. To her, it's a tool, not a guarantee. She notes that while our thoughts can undoubtedly influence our actions and perceptions, they cannot single-handedly control the external world. So there you have it. Quantum physics, energy frequencies, and a range of expert opinions. Some see clear links between these scientific principles and the law of attraction, while others remain skeptical. It's a fascinating debate, one that continues to evolve as our understanding of the universe and our place in it deepens. So the science seems to suggest a possible link, but is it all as straightforward as it seems? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this captivating conundrum in our next scene, The Skeptic's View. However, not everyone is convinced, and critics argue that the law of attraction oversimplifies complex psychological and physical phenomena. 
Indeed, there's a school of thought that suggests the law of attraction may be nothing more than a psychological illusion, one that we, as humans, are susceptible to due to our inherent need to find patterns and connections in the world around us. Take confirmation bias, for instance. This is a psychological phenomenon where we tend to favor information that confirms our existing beliefs or theories. When we think positively and good things happen, we attribute it to the law of attraction. Yet, when negative events occur, we often dismiss them as unrelated. This, some psychologists argue, is confirmation bias in action, not the law of attraction. Then there's the fallacy of positive thinking. This is the idea that by simply thinking positive thoughts, we can bring about positive outcomes. But life, as we all know, is not that simple. The world is a complex place filled with a myriad of variables, and our thoughts are but one small piece of the puzzle. Some philosophers argue that the law of attraction places too much emphasis on the individual. It suggests that we are solely responsible for our circumstances, and if those circumstances are less than ideal, it's because we are not thinking positively enough. This perspective, critics say, ignores the societal, economic and environmental factors that also influence our lives. Furthermore, there's a concern that the law of attraction could lead to victim blaming. If someone is struggling with illness, poverty or other hardships, are we to say it's because they didn't think positively enough? This, critics argue, is not only unhelpful but also deeply unfair. From a physics standpoint, it's also worth noting that while we know thoughts produce electrochemical signals in the brain, there's no scientific evidence to suggest these signals can influence external events. The idea that our thoughts can alter the physical world around us is a fascinating hypothesis, but as of yet it remains unproven. And let's not forget about the role of chance and randomness in our lives. Sometimes things just happen for no apparent reason. Not because we thought positively or negatively, but simply because the universe is, by nature, unpredictable. Of course, none of this is to say that positive thinking is without merit. There's ample evidence to suggest that maintaining a positive attitude can improve our mental health, boost our resilience and even enhance our physical well-being. But attributing all positive outcomes to our thoughts alone, critics argue, is an oversimplification of the complex tapestry of life. Clearly there are valid concerns that challenge the law of attraction, but what about real-world examples? The theory is one thing, but what about practical application? Can we see the law of attraction in action in the real world? A question that has been buzzing in the minds of many. To answer this, let's delve into some real-world instances where the law of attraction has been put to the test. Let's start with a story that's sure to raise a few eyebrows. Meet John a man who was determined to win the lottery. For weeks on end, he visualized himself holding the winning ticket, truly believing in the power of the law of attraction. He even started planning how he'd spend the winnings, but alas, the universe had other plans. Despite his unwavering belief, John never did hit the jackpot. This example challenges the law of attraction, suggesting that perhaps the universe isn't a cosmic vending machine dispensing desired outcomes at will. On the flip side, consider the case of Linda, an aspiring entrepreneur. Linda had a vision of starting her own company. She spent days and nights visualizing her success, believing in the power of her thoughts. Unlike John, Linda's story took a different turn. Within a year, she had successfully set up her business and was thriving. Linda firmly credits the law of attraction for her success, arguing that her positive thinking attracted the opportunities she needed. Now, let's take a slight detour and look at this from a broader perspective. The world of sports is a hotbed for the law of attraction. Athletes often visualize their victories, believing that such mental imagery will help them achieve their goals. Some of the most successful athletes in the world, like Michael Phelps and Serena Williams, used visualization techniques as part of their training. But of course, not every athlete who visualizes a gold medal ends up on the podium. So does the law of attraction work selectively? Or are there other factors at play? Moving on, let's consider the story of Amy, a woman who is battling a severe illness. Amy believed in the power of positive thinking and the law of attraction. She visualized herself healthy and strong, refusing to let negative thoughts cloud her mind. However, regardless of her unwavering optimism, Amy's health did not improve. This example presents a sobering challenge to the law of attraction. It raises critical questions about the limits of positive thinking and the role of physical reality. 
But then there's the story of Alex, a man who was struggling with his mental health. Alex started to use the law of attraction, visualizing himself happy and content. Over time, his mental health improved significantly, and Alex believes that his use of the law of attraction played a crucial role in his recovery. What can we glean from these real-world examples? They show a mixed bag of results. On one hand, we have stories of success that seem to support the law of attraction. On the other hand, we have stories of disappointment and struggle that challenge the validity of this law. So where does this leave us? Perhaps the law of attraction isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Maybe it works for some and not for others, or perhaps the law of attraction is just one piece of the puzzle, working in conjunction with other factors like hard work, determination, and a bit of good old-fashioned luck. These real-world experiences show a mixed picture, further complicating our understanding of the law of attraction. So let's continue to explore, question, and ponder, ever in pursuit of understanding the mysterious workings of our universe. As we've seen, the law of attraction is a complex and controversial concept with compelling arguments on both sides. This principle, often simplified as like attracts like, has its roots in philosophies dating back thousands of years, yet it remains a hot topic of debate in the modern world. On one hand, we have evidence from the realm of psychology that supports the idea. Numerous studies have shown the power of positive thinking and visualization in achieving goals. This is often linked to the law of attraction, as proponents argue that by visualizing success, we are attracting it into our lives. However, on the flip side, skeptics raise valid concerns. They point out that the law of attraction oversimplifies the complexities of human life and the universe. They argue that it ignores factors like socio-economic conditions, genetic predispositions and pure chance, all of which can significantly impact a person's life. Furthermore, they caution that the law can lead to victim blaming by suggesting that negative events are merely a result of negative thinking. Then we have real-world applications and challenges. Various individuals swear by the law of attraction, crediting it for their success, yet others have tried to apply it with little to no result, leading to disappointment and disillusionment. In the realm of physics, some draw parallels between the law of attraction and quantum mechanics, suggesting that our thoughts can influence the physical world. Yet, this interpretation is widely debated, with many physicists arguing that it's a gross oversimplification and misunderstanding of quantum theory. So, where does this leave us? The truth is, the validity of the law of attraction may largely depend on one's perspective. It's crucial to consider the evidence, weigh the pros and cons, and form an informed opinion. The law of attraction may not be a one-size-fits-all solution, but it could offer valuable insights into the power of mindset and the potential influence we have over our lives. So does the law of attraction truly hold water? Perhaps the answer, like the concept itself, is not so black and white.